self-defense at times? Self-defense was not the emphasis in this story, especially not when you put that picture next to that headline. Anybody who looks at this picture is just going to see a poor, terrified girl, and they're going to think that Detective Brian Emerson is a heartless brute. That picture was the best choice we had. We would have been irresponsible if we had not run it. This is very possibly the best way we've got to find her, and that is, after all, what we want to do, isn't it? Well, that's what Brian wants, but you never wrote that in the article, did you? Well, maybe we can use that in a follow-up piece. Maybe it's going to be too late. I guess it's up to me to clear my son's name. I'm going to put him on the air this afternoon. Fine. fine. He's going to make a personal plea to get that girl out of hiding. I think that's just a wise and excellent idea. I'm going to go back to the studio. Uh, Stephanie, wait a minute. Um, you haven't heard about the waterfront property yet, have you? You couldn't have that. What about it? We lost it. The council decided last night. Well, what do you want from me? Want me to cry my eyes out? I just thought possibly you might be interested in knowing. I cannot deal with this now, Lloyd. I understand. There uh, is another angle that I'm going to try as far as the land for the hotel is concerned. I might be able to work something out this afternoon. You can use any angle you want to. Just lay off my son. You and your newspaper both. I figured you could use it. Did you get to bed at all last night? No. You out looking for the kid the whole time? I'm going to keep looking until I find him. <laughs> Everybody had the same idea. How about something to eat with that? Oh, no thanks, John. No, no. I was just about to tell Brian, I think this interview today is really going to help find this girl. You're going to get a chance to talk right to her, Brian. You can tell her there's nothing to be afraid of now. Yeah, you really think she's going to buy that from a guy who just took her father away from her? Hey, Brian, don't do this to yourself. I, I, I just want to find her. That's all. Good morning. I didn't expect to see you here. What are you doing here? Oh, I have a business proposition for Mr. Kendall. You can forget it. I told him if he ever so much as talked business with you, he could forget about my partnership. Seems he's had some second thoughts on that. Oh, Lloyd's not going to sever his relationship with me just because of the likes of you. Well, I have a legitimate business proposition for him. You wouldn't know what the word legitimate meant. You're a criminal. You're a petty thug in a three-piece suit. You're an authority on this today, aren't you? Uh, apparently, your trigger-happy son made the headlines again. Brian is 100 times the man you will ever be. Hmm. He doesn't have the capital I have, though. Neither do you. Oh, not today, but I will. And as soon as I get it, Stephanie, it's going to go a long way in supporting your daughter in the style to which she's accustomed. Don't you ever mention Wendy's name to me again. She's going to come back to me. Pretty soon she's going to realize that I was telling the truth about you. And she's going to realize that she's going to come running right back into my arms. Over my dead body. Oh, Stephanie, don't do anything drastic. I'd hate to be denied the opportunity of calling you mom. <laughs> 